What's up you guys welcome back to my channel the introvert mom where I'm just winging everything so quite a few people asked for me to show how I made these little bow clear dividers in my that I showed in my mini happy planner setup so that's what we're going to be doing today I'm not going to be making these same exact ones but I'm going to sort of talk you through if you did want to make these specific ones. So when I made these I decided to make them clear and just a little bit longer than the Happy Planner pages so that the washi little scallop part and the bow would stick out as a tab and it would look nice sticking out the side of the planner. And then I would be able to put either a paper or a dashboard behind it so that I could always change it out but still keep these cute things and not waste them and not need to change it out all the time because these could kind of go with anything. So first let me tell you what you're going to need if you want to do this. So first thing, it's not exactly necessary but I like to use this little glass board measuring thingy. It helps. Next you're gonna need a laminator. This is my laminator. It's just a scotch one that I just got at Walmart. Super cheap. You're going to need some laminating pouches. These are just three mil. This is just what I grabbed at Walmart when I bought the laminator. But you can use whatever thickness you want. If you like them thicker, then you can go thicker. I prefer them to be thin. It makes them easier to cut and to deal with. And I feel like they're still protected enough and easy to grab on the side of my planner to flip to the page that I need. You're also going to need some kind of cutter thing. This is the one I have by We Are Memory Keepers. Yeah, it's like a scoreboard cutter thing, you know. help you cut some straight lines or you can just use some scissors you'll need the scissors anyways if you have a silhouette or a Cricut that would probably be a lot easier you could just use that you're gonna need an exacto knife or the scissors you're also going to need a piece of sticker paper that you have used all the stickers on and this is going to help you line up the tabs and the way that you want to sort of visualize how it's going to be before you actually laminate stuff. And then you're going to need some kind of stickers or washi, whatever you want to use as the tabs. When I made the bow tabs I used the bows from the Socialite sticker book and then the washi from the washi sticker books I use them from different ones uh, mostly this uh, girly one and the pastel one and last but not least you're gonna need a punch probably not this punch if you have a different brand of disc punch then I would recommend you use that or do the one at a time method with just a normal hole punch and scissors but I'm gonna use this one because I'm lazy and also an extra ruler is helpful too so first I am going to plug in my laminator turn it on heat it up all that so I have this empty sticker paper and if you can see I have a little dot right there and that is measured to seven inches because that is the height of the mini 
and we are going to lay our stickers down on that to see how we want to space them out depending on how many tabs you want. So in the socialite book I used both the big and the mini but here you can see that where these empty sticker spots are I numbered them so that I would know what order I wanted the bow tabs in. And then in the washi book I did the same thing and I took the pages out of this book because it's on discs and you can see that I've got some numbers here where I used this purple strip and this black strip so I decided on the number of tabs that I wanted and I picked out all of the washi and the bows and which ones I wanted to go together and all of that jazz. So today I'm not going to be making the bow tabs because I don't want to run out of bows. But I am going to be making something very similar. So today in the Floral Memories book, I'm going to be using these long like rainbow ombre scallops to make them. So I only have four that are long enough, so I'm just going to make four tabs with those, and then I'm going to make one of just flowers. So for the one with just flowers, I'm going to line some flowers up on this side, and I want to use these like smaller flowers instead of any big ones. We don't want to use these. I mean, you can't. I'm not going to. So I'm just going to take the stickers and sort of line them up how I would want them on the edge of the tab. This is just to see how many you want. You could totally cut these in half or just do the whole flower. Whatever you want. They're your tabs. Well, dividers. Whatever you want to call them. Ow! And I am going to sort of try to overlap them so that I can just pull them all up at once and stick them onto a laminating sheet. I started a little too low on the other side so that's okay I'm just gonna hope it doesn't stick to my table so that's going to be my like tab sticking out on one of my dividers since I don't have enough uh, scallops so now I'm going to choose the flowers that I want for the actual tabs and there's going to be four of them, so I'm just going to spread them out as evenly as I can on there. Hmm. I think I'm going to start with the pink. And then the purple.
And so if you want to make a lot of tabs, then you can sort of overlap so that you can get the spacing and you could put like a flower here so you know that it's gonna sort of be behind that one and a little bit on top of that one when they're sticking out the side just so you know how you want them spaced and then I am going to come to my little washi strips and these two long ones I am going to cut them to seven inches so I'm going to take my ruler and my exacto knife and I think I want to cut off more of the yellow end on this one so I'm going to measure from the start of the scallop and then just cut it off to seven inches and I just do this right in the book it doesn't need to be perfect just do it lightly and just enough to cut through the sticker and then I'm gonna do the same on the other one. got one of the pouches if you can see it and I'm going to open it so what I'm going to do is take this edge of the laminating sheet and I'm going to line it up with this line on the very edge and I'm going to take some washi tape and I'm going to tape it down. By taping this down it's going to help you to be able to get the washi in a straighter line if you're using like washi like this that is scalloped or those washi stickers from the washi sticker books. This will help. First I'm gonna do these ones. So I'm going to take one of my strips that I cut to seven inches. And it's this rainbow one. And I'm going to use this pink sticker on it. And so if you, oops. So with the washi scallops, if you're using scallops, you can decide whichever way you want the scallop to stick out. I like to have it stick out of the side of my planner so you can put it this way or this way whatever you prefer so what I'm going to do is take the one flower that I'm using for this one and I'm just gonna stick it on top of the washi strip because because and I'm sort of putting it in the pink region of the rainbow. And what you can do is sort of take this and line it up to the height of where it's going to be and make sure you like where it is on the strip. And then I'm going to take it over on this side and try to line it up straight with one of these lines. Because we're going to try to fit two dividers on one sheet so you want to make sure that you have enough space for the whole divider in each side. Okay, so we just need to make sure that there's enough space right here to have the whole divider. And a mini happy planner is about four and five eighths. So we just need to make sure that our next tab is on this side. And hopefully that's my enough. 
So I think that I'm going to put the floral one on here next. And I'm just going to see where the edge of it would be. So I'm going to try to put the flowers in this section right here so that they stick out of the planner a little bit, but not too much. So I'm going to try to peel up this whole strip. Hopefully they stay together. <laughs> If you do one like this, it doesn't really have to be straight because it's just going to look cute sticking out. So we're going to make sure that it's going to be okay, not really, I really should have scooted this one over more. Alright, well now that I've ripped the sticker twice, I've got it all lined up finally. And there's enough space here for the divider and here. I'm going to take these off and I'm going to run it through the laminator. you need to run it through a second time you can do that but I think that mine looked just fine so on the next one I am going to line my little scallop up to the side of the sticker and sort of stick it on there and take this sticker and sort of load it up on there so that it at the correct spacing and then stick it down. Then I'm going to line this paper up with my little line right there and then just plop this sticker over on top of it so that it's spaced out. I'm still gonna make sure there's enough space in between these because there might not be. I think it'll be close, but it'll be okay. There's damn hair under here. Why does everything have to stick to laminating sheets? So now I'm going to laminate this one. last strip over here that I'm going to line up.
So I'm going to line up the paper here and just put the sticker right there. If you're making these and you care that the flower is sticking over the edge of the washi, you could just cut it off. And so since this is my last tab, I don't want to waste the space of laminate. So I am actually going to make a page marker here. So I think what I'm going to do since I haven't actually made one of these before. Is I am going to cut one of these shorter strips to the width of a mini happy planner page, which is four and five eight. So I'm just gonna take my exacto knife and do that. And so for this one, I'm going to put it across the top. If you want the little scallops to face up, you can put it up, but I think on this one, I am going to face it down. So I've got that up there, and then I am going to take this sticker book, and I'm going to the glitter sticker book. And I'm going to take this Today sticker and put it on top of that. Hopefully this turns out because I haven't laminated the glitter stickers before. So you just have to gauge like how far you want it to stick out of your planner. I don't want it to stick out like too obnoxiously. I think I'm just going to try to make it look like it's kind of sitting on top of the scallop. Oh, yeah. I think that'll be good. And so I'm going to laminate that. to do with these is sort of cut out this one from this one so that we can work with them separately. So what I'm going to do is the edge of the scallop I'm going to line up at the four and five eighths but just like a smidge before it because um, Sometimes on the disc they can stick out a little weird and the scallop won't actually be at the edge. So you want to do it in a little bit. And if you don't want your scallops to stick out as much, then just move it in more. But I'm going to line mine up at the four and five eighths, but like halfway to the next line. So I've got this cut to the right length, so now I'm going to trim the top and bottom of it. So this, there's just a little bit of space here, so I'm just going to trim it off without cutting into the little bubble that is around the edge of this sticker. And 
And then from this edge, I'm going to measure seven inches, maybe a little more so that I don't cut into the little bubble that's over here and cut that off. So you may just want to measure it seven and an eighth or just sort of halfway to that line so you don't cut into the bubble and open what you've laminated. So now for this side, this is kind of up to you if you want to leave it just like this or if you want to cut around here and get it closer. On um, these ones, I cut around it and cut this part out and then I just cut with scissors around the bows. And so I think I'm just going to do the same with that. So for that, I'm just going to line it up and not cut into the bubble and then just kind of cut a straight line almost up to the flower but not touching it. And then just with my scissors I'm going to cut this piece off and cut around the flower. This one that I did just the florals on and if we like line this up you can see how it's like gonna look or you could do this one in the back with the that on top so I'm going to make sure that this is big enough So yeah, I like that length. I don't think I'm going to cut any more off this side. I'm just going to cut the top and bottom. Okay, so now I am going to cut off as close to this as possible and then sort of cut around it so that it's not just a straight line. Okay, so on this one where the floral is in the middle, I'm going to cut a little line right here and right here and then cut around the flower with my scissors. Dividers done now, so now I'm just going to do this page marker. So from the start of the little scallop, I'm going to put that at seven and then cut off the bottom. And then I'm just going to cut around the top of today. So now for the punching. I am going to be using this big happy planner punch. I do not recommend that you use this, especially if you are using thicker laminate than three mil. This is only meant to cut paper. I'm too lazy to do it by hand and I don't have another punch. So I'm going to do it, but you should not. Don't don't do it. Don't. 
So I'm just going to line it up. I have little lines drawn on mine to where to line up the mini since I have the big one. So I'm just going to stick it in there. You really have to use some force if you're doing this with this punch. And then on my punch, these things like to stick down, so I'm just going to take my scissors and pop them up. And then they are punched. If you do do it with the Happy Planner punch, even though I told you not to, you may have some little bits like this that you might have to cut off or it might just stick in there if you don't do it hard enough. What you can also do is take off this bottom bit, put it in here, and then go put it on a hard floor like in your kitchen and then step on it. That is really the best way if you can't get it to go through the laminate. But you shouldn't do this. Do as I say, not as I do. All the things are stuck down again because you shouldn't be punching laminate. So these little doohickeys are not wanting to come up this time, so I'm going to take this over to the garbage can and take this part off. Okay, so I took it over to the garbage and here you can see the little ones that are still stuck there. And you can see a little bit of plastic that's right there. So I'm going to push these back in from this side. All right, so here are the tabs when they're all done. I think they look really pretty together like this. I'm not sure if I'll put this one like in the front or the back. And then with this little Today sticker sticking out. I think I might use these in my Happy Notes. So this is my mini Happy Notes and so I thought the floral might go together nice. So I'm going to put all of these in here so you guys can kind of see how they would stick out. I think I'm going to do the floral on the top. Alright. There we go. There's the today up there. And the flowers sticking out of the edge. And there's those ones. They only peek out a tiny bit, if you look at just those. And how much they stick out will depend how far apart they are and how thick your planner or notebook is. So here's how it will look with just one. You see how the scallop lines up just at the edge of the paper. So you could put something underneath here 
in my uh, 2019 planner, I have these little pocket pages underneath them that I haven't decorated yet. I guess I'll get around to that. <laughs> so, there's the dividers. And here are the bow tabs. They're definitely a little less crazy than how far these florals stick out. You could probably use smaller florals, different florals, whatever you like. These little bow ones are different and you could use all little bows or all big bows. I have mix and match because I wanted so many tabs on these. And also I just wanted to say that um, if you are using the little washi strips that are scalped from the washi books, some of them, well, most of them aren't the same width if you look at how fat this one is compared to how thin this gold one is. So when you, they will stick out different lengths unless you take that into account in your measurements. Like if you see how thin this black one is, that one's really thin. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that I made sense and helped you and you could watch this and actually make your own tabs and it wasn't confusing. <laughs> I know I'm a little bit all over the place, but I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Bye.